What's going on my friends? Welcome back to the Florida series. About to go fishing with me ancient. Here is our rental boat. Here is the day. It's a little stormy out today. A little, not stormy, it's windy though. Kind of blustery. But uh, when you have a boat rental, you don't waste any of the days. So we are headed out, fair wind or foul. Check this out here, folks. We have here some, well, you can't really see them, cigar minnows in there. We'll show you those up close in a second. You wanna start up the live well pumps? Guys, it is a fine day for fishing when you've got cigar minnows. Or by the steering wheel. Oh, steering wheel. Yeah, it's oh. the one, yeah, there you go. There we go. Aha! The boat rental comes with this sweet little live well. Oops, got the chum bag in there, that's not good. All right, there we are, guys. So, check this out. This is called a cigar minnow. And uh, the other day, we caught some of these on sabiki rigs, and these are really good bait, I've heard. And then here's the head of one. Somehow they tore their companion apart in there. He was injured, this guy was a little bit injured. Look at it, they just shredded him. Poor fellow. Anyway, we got cigar minnows, which is a little bit of a rare thing, unless you wanna to pay top dollar for them at the tackle store. So we're kind of excited to use these. We'll see if we catch anything on them. We've, we've been out there uh, chumming, I mean, a half a dozen, dozen times. Never seen those minnows. I mean, when they came up, they were so different and the way they acted was so uh -huh. different. So. Uh-huh, Guys, we're a little new to the Florida fishing. Spent a lot of time in, uh, in Hawaii, in the Hawaiian Islands, and only recently started visiting Florida. Uh, so all this is kind of new to us. We'll have to see what's kind of go down today we're gonna try trolling a bucktail first thing this is kind of be kind of one of those days where we just make it up as we go and we have no real plan it's just go out fish and have fun and on this big rod here we're gonna troll on this great big hook we're gonna troll um one of those cigar minnows push us off. Oh, i'll push us off and we're away all right cool I have your cutting board and I have here a frozen ballyhoo. I'm just gonna cut him real quick. All right, so I have here a chunk of the ballyhoo, and uh, we're just gonna tip the jig with that. And guys, if you're new to fishing, the reason why you tip an artificial bait with a little piece of live bait is to give it some smell. Make that artificial smell like a piece of, you know, or like a fish actually swimming. When a fish swims up behind it, considering whether or not to strike it, he smells the scent coming off and you'll have a lot better chance of getting him to bite. Look at that nice little spot there. That's cool. You know, we can even just troll toward ends. Yeah, place. that's what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, well, I'll just start heading in that general direction and we'll see. Uh... <laughs> Check this out, guys. I made my own double hook rig in case we had a short striker. There we go, guys. I know that uh, little redneck looking, but let's see if it gets the job done. That's what we're using, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we can get a big one. Stop it. Stop the motor. I'll reel this one up. Yes, please. Guys, we got, oh, we got one on the cigar minnow. I can't oh, believe man. it. Oh, man. Is it a good one? Uh, it feels actually kind of odd. It's not fighting real hard. <laughs> it's silver. It's cool, because we're just making up this as we go, guys, trolling, and we, Oh no. What? Way. Are no you way. kidding? What? That's the biggest one I've ever seen. You got him on the back hook too. How how do you do lizard, lizard fish, fish swim? Lizard fish. What the heck? Wow. Guys, this is a trash fish. This wow. is just a like oh no! Oh, can you grab him? Oh, oh there he goes. Oh shoot. 
I don't have, we don't have a net either. We only have one more piece of bait. Guys, a lizard fish is just like a dumb trash fish that lays on the bottom. How come? Mm -hmm. We're in like 15 feet of water. Like, how did it come all the way up from the bottom? and wow. bite a trolling bait. Now, one thing about these is that guys do use these for bait. Remember that guy that caught that big snook on one of these? Really? Oh, you know what? Maybe we throw them in a live one. Yeah, let's just throw them in live. We'll see what, what happens. Weird. I, I mean, I would have oh, never... <laughs> wow, I would have never thought we would catch a lizard. Guys, these things lay on the bottom. That's why they're camouflaged on top. Wow. They bury themselves in the sand like a flounder. Well, that's disappointing. There we go, guys. Another, this is our last big piece of bait here. We were hoping for something, <laughs> a game fish of some sort. All right, Pops, put her back on the whatever speed we were at. There we go, guys. Well, one small victory is that the redneck double hook rig did work. All right, my friends, we are at a reef area now. In fact, you can see the reef, the dark reef down there. And, um, I'm gonna reel this in. We're gonna throw an anchor out and bottom fish now. All right, anchors away. <laughs> All right, my friends, I'm gonna take our last uh, cigar fish and just kind of toss them out there. Stick that in the rod holder. And I'm gonna grab out the chum. Look at that delicious chum block right there. Mm -mm. There you go, we'll get that started. <laughs> Guys, I got one on the uh, on the little on the little fish. The, the cigar fish. Just drifting along the bottom. In fact, I was just about to reel it up just to check the bait. And something just took off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a good fish. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, we got something good here, guys. Isn't that always how, how it happens? When you aren't expecting it, something just takes off. We troll for like an hour, watching carefully the whole time. What is it? It's a shark. It's a shark, it's a little shark. What? Every time, <laughs> it's the second time, guys, we come out here, catch sharks. Wow, this is, angry. this is an angry, strong little shark. Look at that. I'm gonna let him fight. It's a little longer. Good grief, little devil. All right, I'll try to keep him on the surface. There you go. There, grab it. All right, just drop him in the bottom. All right, guys, we got a shark. Something different too than a, the nurse shark. I've caught a couple nurse sharks in Florida. This is the, hey, hey. Oh, I got that. Wow. Fearsome little fellow. Hey, um, let me get the pliers here. Definitely the pliers probably for this dude. Right. Let's take a look. Here. What kind is he? Oh yeah, he's got some, that looks like a gray, I don't know. What do they call him? That, he just, let's see here. Um, oh man, he just he absolutely it swallowed it. Is this an Atlantic shark? He has a little bit of black. You know, I'll have to look it up. I think, guys, it's been a long time. Guys, we might have here. You know, let me look inside. We might have here a shark we can eat. There, there we go. Oh, nice job. Um, I guess we'll put him in the live well for now. Let uh, me, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I can look at him. Let's measure him real quick. So we know that part of it. So he is, in case it's a slot, he's about 30. 30, 31, 31, yep, 31 inches. Yep, there you go. 31 inch shark, all right. all right. We'll stick him in there. Make some room for him. All right, his little personal hot tub there. Okay. <laughs> My friends, it is an Atlantic shark nose and there is no size limit. And fishing game lets you keep one per day per person or two per vessel. So we're gonna be cooking a shark a little later. Stick around for that. Ooh, look at this bird hanging out right here, guys. That's a good sign. Hey, man, hang out as long as you want. Usually that means they can see bait fish in the water or something. You always want to fish around birds in the ocean, if you can. Not birds sitting in the ocean, but when you're fishing in the ocean, fish around where birds are. Uh, you know what I mean. 
fish on? Whoa. My dad's, well, look at that. Look how it's, it's look how it's swimming. That's crazy. Got that cut bait on. Cut bait, got it done. Cut ballyhoo. Oh, man. Oh, we got another good fish on. <laughs> or shark or creature or yeah, something. Who knows anymore? In the ocean, man. Oh, another shark. Another shark. Now it's my turn to do the honors. Yeah. When we get a little. Oh, nice. He's, I think it's another. Yeah, that is. That's another Atlantic. Sharp nose. Come here, buddy. Got him. Got him. Whoa. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Woo. All right. All right, Pops. Nice. A couple of sharks. Thank you. Yeah, they, you know, they said white dots on the side there sometimes. You know, there you go. Got. Circle hook. Huh? Yeah, circle hooks. <laughs> Look at those teeth, guys. Ooh, you get some teeth. Still. Yeah, they do. They I do. tell you, we are so, we are rocking and rolling out here, guys. It is, it, that's why I stayed sitting down. I... <laughs> uh-huh. The waves are getting a little big. There we, we might... go. I don't think we need to keep another one. We got plenty of eats in that. Okay. One, Look how he has like a mark. Wonder if another shark did that. Oh wow! Yeah, look at that. Huh? Interesting. Very cool. Oh, he's not happy. Oh, he look ain't. Those slit eyes. Uh huh. Looks like cat eyes. Well, my friends, we're gonna blow this pop stand and go uh, check out that bridge over there. Whilst we are going in, guys, I'm gonna throw out the bucktail again. Oh, there we go. Who knows what we could catch trolling. Oh, look, we got one, we got one. On the bucktail. On the bucktail. Oh my goodness! Did you fight it? I don't. I mean, he bit it hard. Yeah, he is. A, this is a decent fish. On a bucktail. Oh, this is so cool. Because this it, is. I mean, you two, we don't know what's. Well, you don't. Be. I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh my word! Well, we got a mystery fish. It's a. Uh, it's a silver or pompa what or jack or something. Oh, it's a. It's a jack creval. Look at that! Look at that! That is so cool! <laughs> Just never know what's gonna happen. There we go. Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow. All right, we're just gonna let this guy go and uh, let him be caught by somebody else. Those things can get massive. They can get like 40, 50 pounds. All right, guys, we're at this like cool looking bridge big party group of party people going out to the sandbar that's out there check out this bridge ought to be something around here to catch I'm thinking it's going out. it is going out fiercely yeah just kind of right in front of their rocks there maybe try it all right my friends we're oh, look at this gorgeous gorgeous Florida home right on the right on the water we're going to fish in front of this and pretend like we live here for a little bit. All right, there we go, my friends. That is so cool. I'm just gonna, I don't know, just fish here. We don't know what we're doing, so everything's fun. Oh, the shark is dead. That's interesting. Yeah, the shark is dead. I thought that hook was way down there. And uh, these guys die. Oh, he's he is twitching a little bit, but he's basically dead. These guys die pretty easy. It's a good thing that we kept him, because I would have hated to throw him back and he didn't, if he was, wasn't a keeper. All right, so me ancient is uh, going to go over the side. He's going to see if there are any lobster or anything like that under these rocks here. So, good luck. I wish me well. I'll keep an eye out for sharks. Guys, we do have a bit of a rainstorm coming here, so I'll keep an eye on that. Oh, look, I'm getting a little bite on this. Um, one thing that we've noticed before, though, at least this is freshwater fishing, sometimes something can really bite right before a big storm hits. 
<laughs> All right, my friends, I'm gonna do something that's kind of ridiculous, but I mean, which this whole day has been ridiculous. What I'm gonna do is put on this whole lizard fish. Now this guy is really big. I caught a little lizard fish in the first ever Florida series that I did, and a guy caught a huge snook on it. And so what I'm gonna do is put this guy on a hook and just see what happens. Why, it's just, I, I mean, this is just 60 pound braid, which is nice, but I mean, it's not that big and a 50 pound mono leader. So it's not a massive setup. I mean, it's pretty stout, but it ain't that massive. But who knows? Who knows? I caught a shark yesterday, a six foot shark, on a whole ballyhoo. So kind of in the business of trying ridiculous things. I'll be right there. <laughs> nice one. Check. Oh. I'll check it. Yeah, check him to make sure. Okay, there we go. I, I measured it with this. It looked like he was good. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I Guys, we got we tons of them under this rock ledge up here. Really? The concrete ledge, I should say. Oh, this is perfect. Guys, I let the live well drain because the shark died in the live well. The hook was way down there. I figured that might happen. These sharks are a little on the uh, delicate side as far as sharks go. Check it out. I cannot believe we have sharks and lobster since both of them are too big for this cooler. Just going to pour ice from this. Got some more ice here. I need a bag. You need the yellow bag. I yep. got a big crab in it. I don't want to try to grab it without having something going. <laughs> Was it like a stone crab or something? No, no, I can't tell. <laughs> this is so, so fun, guys. We're just making this stuff up as we go. Did you get it? You got him. Because my dad got a big crab. A lobster. I scared a lobster out, and he came flying out of the rock. The lobster went under. Oh, wow. Well. You look at him. I'm going to try to get the lobster. I don't even know what kind of crab. Th uh, is that actual stone yeah. crab? I don't know. Wow. What on earth? Look at this dude. It's kind of a dirty crab. Oh, it's a female. You can tell by the bottom. That is a crazy looking little crab. Wow. Interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea what on earth this crazy little crab is. So I'm going to take... Hey, you. Whoa. Whoa. So I snapped a few pictures of him, and I'm gonna post them to my YouTube channel and ask you guys, because he's definitely not a stone crab. Stone crabs are like these chic, beautiful crabs, and that guy's a dirty little fellow. All right, so shout out to Noah Farley for telling me what that crab is. It's a spider crab, he said in the comment section. I just looked at images for spider crabs, and sure enough, that's what it is. So, now I gotta look at the regulations. Well, that was a successful uh, little mi snorkel mission. All right, guys, our dirty little crab here is going back, dirty little spider crab. It's just all kind of crusty and stuff. But uh, people do say you, these are tasty. We'll wait for a bigger one. Nice catch, though, Pops. What a fun time, Pop. Exploring and oh man, I, I just this that there just opens up so much. Uh huh. It's just wow.
Alright, my friends, it is the next day. The shark covered in ice here. It's ice sticking to him. Alright, excited to try this, ladies and gentlemen. And then um, I was thinking about what to do with the lobster. And we're going to wait on the lobster. Got this handy dandy cutting table right here. But uh, the lobster, we've done a lot of lobster cooking lately. And I kind of want to focus on the shark, basically. If you guys want to check out some sweet lobster episodes where we've been experimenting with different ways of cooking them and stuff like that, I'll put a link to a playlist of those in the description. We have like four or five. They're pretty cool. So you know, I'll leave those in the description. But for now, let's focus on the shark. I'm going to play this bad boy. Oh, the skin is thick. Oh, it's thick. I'm going to fillet it though. We are going to make a shark sandwich today, so I need some nice big steaks for the sandwich. Cool thing about these sharks too is there aren't all kinds of uh, pin bones and thing like, things like that in them. It's very, very nice eating them and very easy filleting them actually. There we go. You know the funny thing is, I'm going to throw this down in the canal and odds are another shark is going to come along and eat that. <laughs> this little cutting board is so nice. All done. The circle of life goes round and round. Alright. Take the fillets in ice water up here. And ladies and gentlemen, we have here a little bar area under this tiki hut. Whoever owns this place is a fan of uh, Michigan or from Michigan, I would say. What a cool little spot under here. But I'm gonna use the bar area as my personal kitchen here. All set up, drink some liquids here. It's quite warm out today. Gonna have some Clamato juice. Anyway, that's not important. That's not part of the cook part. Yeah, Clamato juice, and I'm actually gonna try this new tea. Anyway, I've got here some Zatarain's blackened seasoning, which I tried in a previous video and it is delicious. And I thought blackened shark might be a good thing. Got right here the cook uh, stove here and a pan. And then we're gonna make shark sandwiches today. I've got shredded lettuce. This was actually two for one at the grocery store. Some tomatoes, butter. I have here some sucker punch pickles. Folks, these were 99 cents. They were on clearance. Not sure why they were on clearance, but it says fiery spice garlic dill. A uh, little unsure of how those are going to taste since nobody wanted to buy them and they were just trying to get rid of them. I don't know, maybe it's just because it's a new company. That's why nobody was buying them. Got here a nice big hoagie roll and a couple of chips, bags of chips to try. So that is the setup. All right, first thing I'm going to do is pour myself some Clamato juice. I don't do mixed drinks, ladies and gentlemen. I get Clamato juice and uh, just drink it straight. I like it like that. All right, let's get cooking here. First things first. Oh, good knit. Okay, let's get some butter. All right, I'm gonna throw a little butter in there and then I'm gonna throw just a smidge of oil so that the butter doesn't burn. Shock steaks. Yeah, I'm actually gonna pat these dry before I just throw them in there. And I'm gonna salt the bottom of the pan and then take the blackened seasoning and be real generous with that. Here we go, and take the filet and lay it right in there. Beautiful. Now I will salt this side as well. And black and seasoned. Zatarans, I tell you what, not sponsored, but Zatarans makes a really, really good product. Oh man, when it gets in your eyes, it's a little windy out here. Ah, I got a little in my eye. Better than getting in your nose though. I gotta stay out of the way here. Ugh. Let's look at the bread here. Look at that. That is not a foot long. That's like a that's like a 20 inch sub. You know, they should make like a subway type place. Maybe I should make 
Oh, make a place that only sells like giant sandwiches. No, I got something better, something way better. I'm gonna make shark filet. So you heard of Chick-fil-A? Shark filet is going down. We've already talked about turtle filet when I did the turtle catch and cook, if you guys follow my channel. But you know, turtles, that's hard to be have that be sustainable. Sharks, however, especially like those Atlantic shark nose, they are not endangered at all. There are a ton of them out there. I could make Ace's Shark Filet restaurant. I like it. Just like have shark sandwiches, shark nuggets, what, shark salad. I always butter both sides, or butter. <laughs> I always put mayonnaise on both sides of my bread there. I'll show you why in a second. Whoa, hey, ho, oh, hey, hot butter and all. Ooh, looks good. Look how shark is steak like. Like, if you did this with a snapper, it would just crumble. You'd have to use a spatula. You can't just grab it with tongs. I mean, that's the only piece that broke off there. Oh. Mmm. -mm 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 -mm. All right, folks, time to assemble my very first shark sandwich i'm telling y'all shark filet coming soon to cities near you so first thing i'm gonna do is add some tomato i love tomatoes on a sandwich i love campari tomatoes especially and then i always add pepper and a little salt to my tomatoes and i'll add some Lovely lettuce to the top. A little messy, but a messy sandwich is a good sandwich. If a sandwich actually isn't very messy, it just probably isn't very good. And now you can see why I have mayonnaise on both sides, because the mayonnaise is kind of the glue. Okay, the glue for the lettuce and also for the fish. And I just kind of press the whole thing down. Take some of these new onion rings here. Let's see how these taste. That's different. A sour cream and onion funyun. I'm also gonna open these up. Sucker punch. Smell good, smell garlicky. Garlicky, is that a word? I'll put it behind the sandwich there. Now, I'm not one much for presentation, but uh, that turned out really well. Can we cue some smooth jazz? <laughs> guys so my dad has joined me here we got the cook shark oh boy. and a sandwich so the beautiful sandwich mm. <laughs> you know i don't know where to start we got the shark mm -hmm. plane we've got the shark sandwich i see sucker punch pickles here mm -hmm. i see onion onions i think we should start with the shark sandwich that start with like, the shark i think so all right Let's see if i can do this. my beautiful shark sandwich is now going to be destroyed that's one thing about food you know you, <laughs> you make it and then boom it's gone yeah. All right. Should we say a prayer real quick? Yes, indeed. All right. Dear Lord, thank you so much for all your creation. We get to enjoy and the variety of it. I see bless it to our bodies now. Through Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Mm. Here we go. There we mm. are. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Wow, what kind of season is that? It's Zatarain's black and seasoning. Mm. Guys, to me, shark tastes just like any other ocean mm -hmm. fish. Mm. Mm. It's a good, messy sandwich. Let me get you some. It requires paper towels. Thank you. Wow. Mm. That is good. I mean, <laughs> that bread is good, too. I have to say, that is actually a really good sandwich. Mm. Dang, that is mm. Wow. Okay. You know, guys, I just made one half a sandwich and then left all that there because I wasn't sure how good shark should be on a sandwich, but uh, that's pretty darn good. You know, I'm going to try. Hey, so this is a hit. I, <laughs> I think so, too. Wow. Guys, so black and seasoning on the shark is uh, pretty darn good. We got to try Dry pickle. A little nervous about 99 cent pickles. S sucker punch pickles? Mm-hmm. Cheers. Mm. Oh, 
shears. Hmm. That's different. That's a pickle. <laughs> <coughs> when you think about it, mm. that's a pickle. That's kind of. I don't know what seasoning that is. There's there's an interesting flavor yeah, going on there, but mm -hmm. I I like my pickles a little crunchier, mm -hmm. but the flavor's good. And the flavor's good. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. The flavors. I can't. I, I honestly don't know what kind of seasoning that is. But it's a decent pickle. Mm. Just different. Way different. It's a little spicy. Zatarans adds a nice little kick to their seasoning, which I mm. I love. Well, guys, there you go. That was a fun day, Pops. Lobster, shark. That was, that was good. We saw uh, just so many adventures to have here down in Florida. Guys, you get a chance to come down vacation here, look into a boat rental because there are all kinds of cool things out there to do. So, you know, yeah. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you in the next one.